Revolutionary Girl Uchena is an anime classic from the 90s that's up there with shows like Neon Genesis Evangelion and Sailor Moon. But despite being highly respected by critics and anime fans, it's not as well known as it should be. One reason for this is that it's packed with heavy symbolism and is pretty weird, which can be off-putting for some people. This is also seen in the 1999 movie version where a girl turns into a car, which is a reference that's often used to describe the show. And it's because of its erotic content, it wasn't able to air on major networks like Cartoon Network. But despite all that, Utena is a masterpiece that deserves to be watched and appreciated by more people. It especially resonates with LGBTQ viewers as it deals with topics like homosexuality and gender in a unique and powerful way. Do you remember the 90s anime Sailor Moon? Sailor Moon created a storm when its final episode of the last season, Sailor Stars, aired and the last chapter of the manga series was published in 1997. It redefined the magical girl genre by blending the elements of transforming warrior shoes like Kamen Rider and Super Sentai with the traditional format of young girls gifted with magical powers. Its popularity was off the charts and it gave birth to numerous TV shows, movies and stage adaptations, comic books, novels and video games. Sailor Moon has played a significant role in making the magical girl genre one of the most recognized anime archetypes in popular culture. Thanks to Sailor Moon, the magical girl genre became one of the most well-known anime archetypes in pop culture. In fact, it helped pave the way for other series like Cardcaptor Sakura and Julia Maggi Madoka Magica to be exported to North America. It is still considered a classic to this day. You know how Sailor Moon was a huge hit in the 90s and influenced a lot of other magical girl anime that came after it. Well, it also gave birth to a new artist collective called B Papas. They only created an, one anime together and that was Revolutionary Girl Uchiha. Revolutionary Girl Uchiha is known for its heavy symbolism and weirdness, but it also has a huge impact on the anime industry and B Power's member went on to work on other successful anime after leaving the collective. Also Sailor Moon's influence can be seen in the western cartoons like Wind's Club and Star Bosses The Forces of Evil. It's pretty amazing how one show can have such a ripple effect on popular culture, isn't it? B Papas was made up of some pretty talented artists, including Saito when the manga for Revolutionary Girl Utena was created, and Ikuhara who directed the anime series. And you know what's interesting? Before they worked on Revolutionary Girl Utena, they all spent a lot of time working on the anime series Sailor Moon. Ikuhara worked as a director on the second season, Sailor Moon R, particularly on the episode featuring the relationship of Michiru and Hagura which were changed to colors in the English dub. So after working on such successful and important magical girl anime, it's not surprising that Papa's team wanted to take a genre in a new direction and create something entirely different. And that's exactly what they did with Revolutionary Girl Utena. Revolutionary Girl Utena is a story about a girl named Utena, Denzo. It starts with a flashback where as a child Utena lost both her parents and her will to live. But as her life was shared by a prince who gave her a ring with a rose crest on it, from that moment, Utena was able to become a valiant prince, like the one who saved her and be able to meet him again one day. Fast forward to when Utena is 14 years old and she is a student at Otohori Academy. One day, she gets thrown into a dueling club while trying to protect a girl named Anti Hinemia from an older boy who was bullying her. But as it turns out, all the members of the club, who are also the school student council, have a ring identical to the one Utena received from the prince. The prize of their duel is Amti, who is known as the Rose Bride and is said to have the power to change the world. As Utena gets more involved in this strange secret society, she falls in love with Amti and discovers a world full of manipulation, abuse, trauma, lost innocence, and shattered dreams, which is an analogy for the process of growing up. It's a heavy and intense story, but it's also a powerful one. Revolutionary Girl Utena is an anime that takes a familiar story format of a magical girl anime and uses it to ask deep and meaningful questions about the world and growing up and finding your place in a cruel world just like how Neon Genesis Evangelion did with giant robots. But unlike Evangelion which looks at these themes from a male perspective, Utena has a female point of view. One of the things that makes Utena stand out is that it deals with themes like gender oppression, gender performativity, BD, and historical obvious in all its forms. The typical dashing long-haired young men who are usually the love interest in anime targeted at teenage girls are turned into cruel and abusive foes in Utena. The mean girls like the main characters are also trapped in a system of oppression that punishes them for any mistakes they make. 
the school is not a stepping stone to the real world but a prison controlled by a man and this older brother akio who takes pleasure in manipulating and controlling the youth in order to become your own person is necessary to leave this behind one of the most important things about revolutionary girl utena is the way it portrays the characters of anti and utena anti is a representation of traditional femininity she is docile caring frail and blindly obedient but she is also seen as an object to be treated for power and not as a real person by the school council and her brother Akio. She has been subjected to physical, emotional and sexual abuse for years and maybe even centuries. For most of the show, she is quoted as a shell of a person with no interest except what Akio or her current partner wants. She even believes that this is what she deserves, but it's only when she meets Utena that we see the real person beneath the rose bright facade. So Utena is a complete opposite of Auntie. She doesn't conform to traditional femininity. She's athletic ways of wearing uniform to school and openly questions why a girl can become a prince. Unlike her classmate who accepts Anthe's abuse as a fact of life, Udena is deeply disturbed by it and feels sicken by the rose bright performance that Anthe puts on. She wins the duel. Udena's goal is to meet the real Anthe and it's only because she sees Anthe as a person that Udena is able to recognize the abuse she suffers and take action to free her. The love she feels for Anthe is what makes Udena a revolutionary girl. The school council only sees revolution as an illusory way, but Udena is able to make real change happen. A revolutionary called Udena tells stories through not only its plot but also through its visuals, which are beautiful, surreal, and evocative. The school council's uniform in the show are inspired by 18th century French army outfits, and Udena's transformation sequence is a literal change of cloth in an elevator leading to the arena where the duels take place, accompanied by the song by experimental movie and TV composer J. A. Caesar. The arena is a platform in the sky and an upside down castle symbolizing upside down fairy tale that Udena and Anthe's story is. Anthe is often seen as tending on her plants and kills like greenhouse and the duelist fight on her hand with the swords, which also represent Anthe's ultimate judgment by a patriarchal society that sees her as an undeserving of love and respect. And then there are the cars, which in revolutionary called Udena are not just vehicles but symbols of power, sex, and mature. Driving a car represents control and taking joyride with someone usually entails dangerous and manipulative game of seduction. Utena has a unique sense of humor that sets is apart from other anime. A lot of humor revolves around Nanami, who is the resident mean girl at Otori Academy and a member of the school council. One episode that stands out is the cow bell of happiness. In this episode, Nanami turns into a cow after receiving a luxury of cow bell as a gift. She can't accept the cow bell is not a designer of necklace, so she starts to transform into a farm animal. Utena has saved the day. Another episode, take care Miss Nanami. Nanami thinks someone is trying to kill her because of the series of accidents involving animals, including a gloved kangaroo that is kept from the school boxing glove. In Nanami's egg, Nanami believes she laid an egg, which gets into more serious topics like female sexuality and star shaming. The TV series of revolutionary called Utena ended in December 1997, but two years later in August 1999, the director Ikuhara created a feature film version called Adolescence of Udena. The movie is a lot more open, to, open when it comes to sex and sexuality compared to the CD series. For example, in the series, there are only hints of a romantic relationship between Anthea and Udena. But in the movie, they are actually kiss and maybe even more. The movie also has a lot more crazy imagery than the TV series. Some people see the movie as a detailing of the show story, while others see it as a sequel. But either way, you need to know the original material to understand some important parts of the film. Revolutionary Girl Utena has been a very influential since it came out. Animator Rebecca Sugar is a big fan of series and you can see similarities to Utena in many of her shows. For example, the design and sword fighting style of Kroll in Steven Universe look a lot like Utena. In the anime world, you can see Utena's influence in shows like Review Starlight and Princess Tutu, both in terms of visuals and the plot. Revolutionary called Utena has a unique sense of humor, heavy themes, and it, it relies heavily on symbolism instead of straightforward storytelling. It can be hard to watch at times, but if you want to watch it at the right moment, it could become your favorite anime. Just keep an open mind and don't be afraid to dive into Pipa Pass and the world of color and wild visuals.